Just a quick video. Let's talk about generational curses. Um. So yeah, there's pretty much generational curses on both the uh, on both God's, you know, the Hebrew people and the devil's people. There's there's generational curses on the Canaanites. You know, the Nephilim bloodlines. Uh, like I said, I mentioned alopecia as being one of the generational curses. I think that's a real generational curse. Uh, there's also the generational curses from incest from people's families. Um... I mean, God even pretty much cursed his own people when he exiled them. Like, I don't think God wasn't really too, I mean, those who didn't keep the commandments, you know, fell under his wrath. He didn't, he didn't really treat his people. I mean, he, he held, no one escapes really God's. Judgment, really. So, but a lot of these witches, they don't realize that they're actually cursing their bloodlines by doing this witchcraft stuff. Because if they're doing all this voodoo mess and cursing other people and doing black magic on people, they can expect God, you know, God's wrath upon them to the next generation. So, these witches should be careful about the the witchcraft they do and they. And repent because I mean look at the gypsies the gypsies are cursed scattered people and a lot of gypsies are witches too so what I'm saying is witchcraft brings generational curses um, incest brings generational curses uh, People that are involved in Freemasons bring curses on their family. Uh, people involved in... It's just a lot of different things. But the main ones are... Is, the main one is witchcraft. Um... That's about it. That's about it. I just wanted to mention that these people are cursing themselves unknowingly by doing this witchcraft. They're basically cursing themselves unknowingly and cursing their their offspring, you know, in generations to come for doing voodoo and black magic and stuff like that.